Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here to share my July layouts. And it's not all of my layouts for this month, but it is most of them. Um, these are layouts from Off the Board with Pineapple Papers and other hops that I've participated in, design team layouts, creative ambassador, creative uh, design um challenge team layouts, things of that nature, and then a series that I started um, in this month. So this first part of the pile is from Off the Board with Pineapple Papers, and all of these are from um, inspirations from your pins on Pinterest. It is a fabulous um, hop and a great way to get the pins that you've put in your scrapbooking um, pile or, you know, in your little board, uh, used. And this one actually came from, um, like wood, stacked wood. I don't even know why it was on my pen, but, um, it was really cool looking and I used a ton of scraps to get it used. This is, um, uh, I think this is from a Simple Stories collection, uh, or no, an Echo Park Back to School, maybe. Um, this was my way of using up a bunch of scraps in my whimsical 6x6 six six paper pad, this is um, a Stash Dive Tuesday as well as Off the Board with Pineapple Papers. I used a ton of old stuff that's just been kind of hanging out in little bins um, and did that weave pattern with some papers that I didn't know how to use because they're really, really thin and um, not necessarily my cup of tea. This is one of the design team sketches from scrapbookingwithannemarie.com. Um, a fabulous site where you can get lots and lots of inspiration and lots of encouragement. Um, and then this one is a Vicki Booten um, color study. And I really just wanted to use that paper. It was one of the last ones in my paper pad for the pro or project pad. And so I just kind of looked up something on Pinterest that had to do with stars in the background. And that's what I found. This is another design team layout from scrapbooking with amory.com and it's pictures from the beach. Um, lots of silly fun times when my best friend and I are together. This is for Mix It Up Monday, a hop that I am a part of um, that was started by Anna with Peace Craft Love and a bunch of ladies get together and they use lots of different kinds of mixed media and I use some um, paste from the Vicky Booten collection. And then this is from the um, Bo Bunny's Beautiful Things. And this is from Obed Marshall's Boy and Estes collection and lots of scraps. Um, this is an, uh, a really old picture. I used um, an Echo Park collection, uh, Good Day Sunshine, I think. And then it has that bicycle, the black acrylic bicycle came from Scrapping Reflections. And um, then this is Vicki Booten's color study. Again, all I was doing was using up my scraps. I needed to get some used up and I love that layout. This was from a pin about making a birthday card. This came, my idea here was for that um, tree was made out of some kind of a material like cloth or a tool or something in the pin and I used an Echo Park Christmas collection and made a tree. This is Bo Bunny's Beautiful Things and I love this layout so much. That paper's gorgeous and that background paper is what my inspiration was for my pin. This is another Obed Marshall. I believe this is the Especial um, collection and more opportunities to use up scraps. This is my layout for the Pink Fresh Friday monthly hop that Joey and Bartel puts on. It's my first Pink Fresh Studio layout ever. I've never used the product and now I have some on order and a whole set my friend uh, Tara gave me. So I will be using Pink Fresh Studios a whole lot more often. It's very thick paper. It's lovely. And I had a really good time trying out new products. So yay for that. Thank you, Joanne. This is another one of my design team sketches for scrapbooking with Amory.com. And that was another Obed Marshall. Um, that may be Fantastico. It is. Um, I got all three of them, two of them at the same time. And I am not, I've only used them a little. 
this was like a door hanger was my inspiration. It had all the little circles. It was like when you walk through a door and it kind of separates the doors out. I used Vicki Booten's Warm Wishes. The top part is through the stencil with some stickles. And the other part, I fussy cut um, the ornaments out. And then this Pinterest pen was a pencil that was rainbow colored, had a bunch of musical notes on it. And I thought that was really cool. So I let it inspire me for this background paper. And then I added music notes. And I'm sorry for the glare on that layout. Um, but this is just documenting me and my friends and my daughter going to a concert. And um, I love the way this turned out. It was a whole lot of fun. And I really enjoyed um making those pa that paper. Um, this is another Obed Marshall. I think this one is also Fantastico. Um, this is, um, oh, I can't remember what collection this is, but I had such a good time creating with this. Um, that's going to come to me after it's all over. Oh, it's the market, market square. Maggie Holmes, maybe market square. Um, this is a Paige Evans um, collection, and I use the Scrapping Reflections All-Star Stencil and use a couple, di few, three different inks through it. And so far, all of these layouts um, have a video for each one of them. So I'm really enjoying those middle clusters, and that's from the Bungalow Lane collection. And this is my last one for Off the Board with Pineapple Papers. That is Hello Today by Simple Stories. I have that one sheet of paper. I have 25 of them, and so I created a layout with just one sheet of paper. I mean, I obviously had to bring in some solids, and I used a couple sheets of that um, striped paper, and I used the cut-aparts from the back side of it, and I have the flat back adhesive brads. I also have frames, but I couldn't get one of those to work. So that is the end of my Off the Board with Pineapple Papers. I believe that I created 25 or 26 days. Normally I would have done every day, but it's been a bit of a crazy year. I mean, a great, well, that a crazy year, but a crazy month for sure. So this layout is from JQ Crafty's Craft IQ. And if you are not familiar, you should definitely check it out if you like a challenge. For the first seven days of the month, so it'll start tomorrow, the first, um, she gives you a new thing, new layer. And then you, um, at the end of the seven days, she'll do a video and give you some bonus uh, twists. And it's lots and lots of fun. Um, and I have a video for that one as well. And then this is Shannon Blinn had a 500 subbies um, hop, sub, celebration hop. And so I picked a layout of hers and scrap lifted it with some Amy Tan um, Brave and Bold. And then Desiree Tail had uh, later in the month a um, 1700 subscriber hop. And so I use this crepe paper, busy sidewalks, and I still have not fixed the green on there. So if you watch this video, I don't like that yellowy green ink that I used. I'm going to add some like brush sage or something to make it more evergreen colored because uh, that looks terrible. It did not come out how I wanted. So I am going to do my best to fix that with some ink and, um, I just haven't done it yet. I'll do it before I put it in the book. Um, and that is, uh, and then I use some wood veneers that my friend Tara sent me. And then I am a creative ambassador for Peacecraft Love, and she sent me a collection kit as well as the other creative ambassadors. And it had about six papers, three solids, double-sided solids, three double-sided print, and some embellishments, and a, um, uh, Simple Stories foam, um, titles as well as, um, some other little, oh, sequins. And so I created this layout for our hop on the 25th and for Christmas in July. And so I created this solely with product that she sent me. And then with my leftovers, I created this one. And the only thing on here that I used that wasn't from what she sent me was the lettering, my pen that I used to finish the full title. And then on this one, I used the rest of my scraps. And the only thing that is not from what she sent me is the base page, which is a black cardstock. And I matted this one picture in an off-white matte stack paper. Other than that, everything on there came from her, um, the scraps that I had left over. So I made three layouts with it. And um, 
So she has some cool kits out there. And see, I still have those left over, which I think I'm going to use for my December daily this year. Yay. So that is what I created for Peace Craft Love. This is um, my um, challenge team layout for Dottie About Flare. So I used two different flare ones from Penguin Love and one is from Snow Much Fun. And I love this. This collection is Cocoa Vanilla No Limits. And oh my gosh, you all, I've fallen in love with Cocoa Vanilla. I've never had Cocoa Vanilla and now I just don't know. <sighs> um, this is one of the layouts that I did for my design team um, for scrapbooking with Anne it is an amazing site, like I said, with lots of awesome people who are super encouraging and you get sketches and tutorials, classes, all sorts of fabulous things. Um, so I painted instead of used paper for my little um, hexagons. This is also a Scrapbooking with Amory design team sketch that was actually for yesterday, the, no, Friday, the 29th. And I had a good time using my um, We Are Memory Keepers. Um, I think it's Jet Set. And then this is the beginning of my um, Scrap Lift Crafter Noon. It's a hop that I am a part of um, and have been since I think February um, with a group of ladies. And we select some layouts that inspire us. And we watch the videos of their being built. And then we recreate their layouts and try and get them some um, people to, you know, check out their videos and subscribe to their channels. I love this layout. I used a stencil from Scrapping Reflections. I used my shimmer sprays. I used a really cool Dottie About Flare flare up there at the top with a little camera on it. And I used my Simple Stories um, Family Fun. I love how this layout turned out. It is so much fun to me. Lots of color. I love the Diane Reevely shimmer sprays. Um, they are great. So the, all of the Scrap Lift Crafter Noons have a video. So the only two that I don't think I have a video for are the two that I just shared from Scrapbooking with Anne Marie. I don't always record those. Um, I do sometimes. This is one from today, actually, the 31st, and this is another Scrap Lift Crafter Noon. We were scrap lifting Sarah Davies, and I absolutely adore her work, and I totally turned her beautiful floral uh, layout of her little girl uh, into this totally boy layout with Bro and Co. by Simple Stories. <laughs> So, you know, and then this is probably my favorite layout that I created this month. This is another Cocoa Vanilla. This is with um, the Storyteller collection that just came out. This is one of my favorite pictures of all time. It's my mom, my, not my mom, my daughter, my niece, and my grandmother. It's my daughter and niece's senior pictures. I use lots of inks and stencils, and I love this collection. Like I said, Cocoa Vanilla has vastly become, like, one of my favorites. Um... So I really enjoyed creating this layout with Scrap Lift Craft Afternoon. And then these last five, I create, I've decided this year that I wanted to um, have this video series. It's five weeks, although it's, I'm pretty sure I'm going to um, continue doing it. Just not every week. It'll be like once a month or something. Um, starting in late April, going through even this past weekend, uh, my family's been through a lot of ups and downs and a lot of rough times. And I decided that, um, I've heard a lot of people talking about how they can't scrapbook the hard stuff. And, um, I really felt encouraged and inspired to try and encourage others, but as well as myself, I knew if I did this video series that I would scrapbook the rough stuff and not just all the happy times, uh, because I feel like it's super, super important. And so starting late April with my, um, fabulous favorite boss, um, quitting with very little notice, <laughs> um, or warning. Um, I was devastated. And so I decided that that was the beginning of the series. I was going to document them in time in the order when, as they happened. So I created this layout with my, um, sweet rush, um, paper from Vicki Booten, which seemed a little odd for the title. Um, and then I decided to document about, um, 
four days later when my husband and I decided to get divorced amicably. Um, and then I used, um, I love my family to document my husband's grandmother passing one week after that. And then two weeks later, we had to put our house on the market. Since we were getting divorced, we wanted to sell our house. And that was pretty hard. We'd lived there for a long time. And I decided to use Vicki Booten's color study because of this one sticker up in the top that says Fresh Start. And then yesterday on the 30th, I documented my last one. And it was about changing jobs. And I used the New Day Collection by Echo Park. So I am going to go ahead and continue to do like once a month, um, just documenting the hard stuff. So the, uh, name of the series was called or is called courageously crafting scrapbooking through the hard stuff. And I started it on the first Saturday of July, which was July the 2nd and did them every Saturday this past month. And like I said, I'm going to continue and do, um, one probably one every month because I am certain I have plenty of pictures of people I've lost or the hard things I've been through um next weekend will be no different so I hope you all will check that out um and I hope you all will go check out the uh, videos from any of the layouts that you see that you like or are inspired by I would love that um and if you have not subscribed to my channel I would love that too um, I really do appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. This coming Thursday, the 4th, we're having a celebration hop because I hit my 500 subscribers about a month ago. And I am so excited and so beyond blessed and absolutely grateful. I am just absolutely grateful. So I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I hope you get a chance to do something you love with someone you love. Happy scrapping.